If you would love to learn how to harness the energies associated with August the 20th to the 26th, stay tuned. There is so much delicious goodness that I can't wait to share with you. Hello, my beautiful MK Love fam, and welcome back to another weekly angel guidance episode. And if this is the first time you are watching any of my videos, my name is Melanie Kate Love, the self love makeover artist, and I'm here to help you learn to love yourself trust your intuition and to manifest your heart's true desires. Now this week, August 20th to the 26th is amazing week. At the end of the week, we also go into the full moon in Pisces, but I'll talk more about that later. So let's get cracking. So we're gonna be starting the week out in the action phase of the moon. This is when we take inspired action and allow it to flow with ease. So that's gonna be for Monday and Tuesday. Then on Wednesday, we move into the trusting phase of the moon. This is the give us moon. This is when we trust the process that everything is working out for us. So that's Wednesday to Friday. Then for Saturday and Sunday, we move into the full moon. This is the releasing phase of the moon. This is when you say, I release anything that no longer serves my highest good. Now, depending on where you are in the world, the full moon's going to be at different times. So just have a look at the screen right now and I'll show you all of the time zones. Well, not all of the time zones, but some. So the full moon begins if you're in LA on the 25th of August at 4.58 a.m., New York, 7.58 a.m., London, 12.58 a.m. On the 26th of August, if you're in Delhi, that's 5.28 a.m. Sydney, 9.58 p.m. and Auckland, 11.58 p.m. So that's kind of a breakdown. Hopefully you can work that one out. So yeah, how exciting. What I really, really love about this full moon that is coming up is that it's in Pisces. Now Pisces is a water sign. It's actually the most emotional sign of the zodiac because Pisces is number 12 out of the, the 12 different zodiacs. So it's at the very bottom. So a Piscean person would, would have all of the other 11 zodiac signs infused into them. And also as Pisces is um, number 12, this is also finishing off an end of a cycle, which is incredible. And other thing to mention too, have a look at the screen right now, three, three. The reason I popped that up because Pisces is in three degrees and 12 minutes. One and two is three. The numerology is three, three. So this is so exciting. And I'm just, oh, I, I just love it. So if you want to find out more about three, three, then you're welcome to have a look at that one right now. So my loves, that's kind of the breakdown. Let's pull out the Shadowscapes tarot and let's get cracking and see what we need to know. So Let's do the action phase of the moon. So this is going to be Monday and Tuesday. All right, angels, what do my MK love them need to know? Oh, by the way, this is just a general reading. So just take from this what feels truly best for you. This could be one card, it could be every single card. The way that you know is that when I hold a card up to the screen, if you feel an instant reaction to it, either sadness or gratitude or overwhelmment or love, whatever it may be, write it down. Um, so have a notepad next to you so you can write down your emotions as we go through the week. So it just gives you a little heads up as to what to be mindful of going into the week. <sighs> okay, <laughs> all right, action phase of the moon, angels. One card for my beautiful MK love fam. What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Whoa. Oh, Ooh, it's a very, it's a different energy this week. It's shuffling different. Four, three, one card, please. Two, there it is. Ooh. As soon as I saw the card, I just heard a new day has come. A new day has come. Celine Dion. Ah! Uh, do you know what? I went to Vegas and I saw Celine Dion and I was like four rows from the front. Had the best time. 
Oh my god, the Ace of Swords! Look at these beautiful butterflies! This is beautiful, like a new beginning. See the sword is like double-edged, it's like sharp here and sharp here. So it's like, okay, when you start a new chapter, it's like, just be mindful. It's like it can either go two ways, but the way that it can go in your best interest is by really programming your mind for success. You need to pay particular attention to the thoughts that you're thinking, especially in this new chapter, because it's um, new territory that you haven't yet discovered. But it is, the swords represents like your passion projects, what, what fills your soul with joy. And we've got all these beautiful swans here, we've got butterflies, so this is like the time for you, ah, to become that butterfly. Spread your wings and prepare to fly, you and me, come on butterfly. Oh my God, this is like a beautiful, and it's interesting that it's happening in the action phase of the moon. It's like you're actually taking inspired action and allowing it to flow with ease because the intentions you set on the new moon, you're actually putting them into, into action now, which is incredible. And ah, this is just amazing. All right, let's get more clarity and see what else comes up. All right, clarity on Ace of Swords for the action phase of the moon, angels. Oh, hold on. Ah, justice. Yes, we got the justice card. It's like, this is like positive karma. This is karma. You know how I have been saying to you for ages, like this eclipse season is all about taking you off one train track, putting you on the right one. I'm on the right track, baby. I was born this way. Da -da 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 -da. Baby, I was born this way. Yes, look at the balance and there's more butterflies in here. She's just at ease and she's like, oh. I heard this in a private client's reading yesterday. I heard, thank God almighty, thank God almighty, I'm free, I'm free at last. I don't know where that comes from. I thought that was in a movie, but then when I Googled it for the client, it came up as Martin Luther King. I can't, I'm not really sure, I can't remember. But this is like spreading your wings and flying and being at peace and allowing, oh, we've got the moon behind you, allowing the moon to guide you, healing those shadow areas of yourself, like the blockages within yourself. And, you know, I feel like this is balance is being restored. Justice, what is rightfully yours will always stay. Can't touch this. Da -na -na. Ba, da, da, bum, bum, bum. I think that's all for the action phase of the moon because I'd already carried from last week. Let's go into the give us moon, the trusting phase. I trust the process as everything is always working out for me. No matter how it looks, it is divinely orchestrated and however this looks, it's like, don't freak out. Just say, thank you, thank you, thank you. What is the lesson that I need to learn so I can grow, I can heal, I can flourish and I can become this big, beautiful butterfly. All right, trusting phase, what do we need to know? What do we need to know, angels? Five, oh, thank you. Ooh, we got the high priestess. This is your intuition. <laughs> okay, that's beautiful that came in the trusting phase. It's like, what is your intuition telling you to do? Are you taking inspired action on it? Or within the five seconds of the intuition coming up, are you allowing fear to dictate your path? Because bloody hell, you have been doing that for so long. You know, this is the chance for you I heard this is me again. I'm not a stranger to the dark. Fire away. Why do I sing that bit off key? Yeah, it's like, it's like you're not a stranger of the dark, but the dark doesn't define, it, it helps create who you are, but don't get stuck in that darkness. But I feel like, okay, what is your intuition telling you to do? And flip and do it. Just do it. Just do it, do it, do it. What is that off? It's like a 90s song. All right, so it's like follow your intuition. The way that you know that if you're on the right track is by following your emotions. Um, <laughs> it's just emotion taking me over. You know, it's like if you're caught in this cycle and you're vibrating like 
down the very bottom of the emotional guidance scale. And I've actually had to adapt it because I have since dealt with people who are suicidal and just having that fear and depression um, just wasn't enough. I that was, that was serious, but I didn't know how the level of severity. So I've since added in an extra level. So now it goes to level 23 all the way to one. So it's like, where are you now? Um, oh my God, the songs are going crazy. I can't even keep up today. I heard, where do you go, my lovely? Um, yeah, so follow your intuition. That's what I'm trying to say and allow your emotions to guide you. Where are you on the scale right now? It is okay if you're at the bottom. It's okay. The way that you get from the bottom to the top is reprogramming your subconscious. If you're down the bottom and you're flipping out, then that's when you need to book a reading. That's why I'm here. Here I am, baby. Oh, sun seal delivered on the earth. Wow. Okay. My phone is distracting me. Let's just turn that one off. Okay, so trusting. Trusting that everything is always working out for you. Whoa. I surrendered to the process and I set myself free. How do you trust? You let go. That's why I made that video last week about let the, the power of letting, no, what did I say? Three signs to help you let go and surrender, which if you haven't watched it, that was a good one. <laughs> Those of you who have watched it know what I'm talking about. <laughs> It's interesting because the views change on those videos and I didn't want to do a dramatic um, thumbnail and it was just interesting to see who clicked on it. So if you watched that video, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, okay, the one that I actually saw. I got the hermit card, guys. This is like retreating, which is interesting because I feel like this is more a retreat into nature considering Pisces is a water sign. Can you go somewhere that's in nature, either near a water, um, a lake, a pond, the ocean, um, I don't know, like a, a salt pool? I just feel like you need to go in nature because that's where all your answers are. If you're doubting yourself and you're like, I can't do it, Mel. I set my intentions, but now I feel like I'm, I'm not good enough. I'm unworthy. I don't deserve this job. I sh I'm too old to be married. It's like, what the freaking hell? Stop treating your brain like it's trash. You have to deposit in beautiful, high vibrational thoughts. If the, like, okay, I watched this video the other day and it had a really fabulous concept and it was talking about your current reality is a reflection of how you used to think. Think of it in terms of your bank account. Do you have lots of money in your bank account? Do you have avalanches of abundance continuously infiltrating your bank account? If the answer is no, then that is a state of your poverty thinking. What if you want to change that to prosperity thinking? Think of it in terms of like your relationships. I'll talk more about that on Thursday because I'm gonna be making a, a video about how to reprogram your limiting beliefs because I did a poll on Instagram and if you um, responded to that, thank you so much, I'll be featuring you on Thursday's video. Okay, interesting that we got, we've had three major arcanas out of four cards. This is a big deal, guys. Okay, so there's like major shifts that are happening. You're finding your balance. You need to meditate, probably meditate, do these two in unison, meditate, um, uh, in mother nature that could totally help you out. Ooh, that's interesting. What day was this from Wednesday to Friday? You need to find a way to go outside. I don't care where you are in the world. You need to make it a priority. Let's get one more card for the trusting face, please. And then we'll move on to the fun man. Yes. Oh, there it is. Oh shit. Oh my God. I shuffle these cards. I swear. I swear. The Wheel of Fortune! This is so exciting. So exciting. Da, 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 da. The wheel is beautiful. It's like the wheel of the world is turning, like Carrie Underwood's song. It's the wheel of the world turning around and round. What's it? Um, can't remember what the lyrics are to the rest of the song, but it's a bloody good song. It's like fortune is on your side, guys. You need to trust that everything is working out for you. I just gotta sit on my knees. Um, am I too high for the shot? No. Nope. Yeah, this is beautiful. Look at the the uh, what do you call it? The flowers down the bottom. Look at them. The thing about this one is, is if 
you've been putting in negative thoughts into your head, the wheel can turn two ways. It's like the, this one here, the Ace of Swords. It can go two ways for you. Depends on where you're at, but because the majority of you are really trying to change your life, um, then this is probably going to be positive karma for you. It just really depends where are you on your uh, self-love makeover. But this is beautiful. This is like, I just feel like a lot of you are just getting a break and I just saw a break. Can you see like the cement is breaking? I just feel like this is your, your chance to be free. It's like, you've been like, <laughs> oh, that was a terrible vision. I saw like somebody was like buried in cement and it had like, and they were trying to breathe, but then it was like someone just needed to crack them out. What a terrible analogy. But that's just what I saw, a flash of somebody being buried in cement. But it's like, now you're breaking free. I want to break free. This is my life like every day. Peter and I are exactly the same. We always sing when we hear one song, it's like, oh, I hear it. Um, yeah. Okay, so the trusting face from Wednesday to Friday is all about your intuition, going out to meditate, going to meditate in mother nature and just know that everything is working out for you. Like just stop flipping out. It's all working out. All right, let's move into the full moon in Pisces in three degrees and 12 minutes of Pisces, three, three. <sighs> Divinely protected. All right, what do we need to know for the full moon angels? What do my MK love fam need to know? Shit, there's a lot. Too many to read in this one. Okay, we'll just put them back and we'll start again because <laughs> there's about 20 guards that fell out. Okay, one, two, three. What do we need to know? Full moon in Pisces, thank you very much. Oh, we got two. Ah, <laughs> no way. We got the, the 10 of wands. Okay. I really like this card. Can you see the little tree and she's a woman? She's been bearing this load on her back. It's like your emotional baggage. It's like, just release it. Why haven't you released it yet? Or have you started to release? It's like forgiveness is like a, a layers of an onion. So wrapped up in, oh, I messed that up. You're so wrapped up in layers onion boy. Is that from Shrek? I don't know, Peter normally says that joke. Uh, yeah, so it's like you've got the world on your back. You've got you've taken on way too much and it's really starting. It's like you want to But she's a tree so a tree is like deeply rooted with nourishment from the soil and in the earth So it's also very grounding, but it's like she's taken on too much at her own detriment and she really needs to find this balance Okay, so this is like releasing the things that you took on, way too much stuff. Did you take on somebody else's emotional issues and you've been, it's been weighing really heavy on your chest because this is time to release it. You can't change other people. The only thing you can change is yourself. I've had so many people message me on Instagram this week saying, Mel, my family is this and my family is that. They don't understand me. It's like, okay, because they are not a vibrational match to where you are. Yes, it can be painful, but they are doing the very best they can with the knowledge and understanding that they have at the time. If they knew better and they knew how much it would, it would help you to feel valued, to feel heard, to feel loved and to feel supported, don't you think they would do it? but they're not at that stage. So we just have to surrender to that process. Okay, then the other card that we got was the Knight of Swords. This is like uh, movement. This is like, it's like um, he's not allowing anyone's judgment to cloud his, his path in life because you know, not everyone understands where you're going to. So it's like releasing the need for everyone to accept what you're doing just you need to have that strong muscle within yourself knowing that you are incredible and that you are fabulous and that your intuition is the perfect indicator to let you know are you on the right track or are you on the wrong track you really need to release these blockages think about like what limiting beliefs have been ingrained in your subconscious since you were a child because they are greatly impacting your life today are you allowing them to cloud your judgment? Like what was, how were you grown up 
and what relationship did you see modeled between your parents? How did they discuss money? What values were instilled upon within you? Because it's like, you don't need to hold this emotional baggage. They just did the very best they could with the knowledge and understanding that they had at the time. And now that you're older and you're wiser, you have the power to change. It's just a thought and a thought can be changed. The way that I reprogram my, med my subconscious was through affirmations, meditation, doing my self-love practices and doing a lot of journaling and crying. And it literally changed my life. Yeah, it took time, but I didn't have a coach and I wish that I knew about that. And that's why I'm gonna be coaching you guys very shortly. So if you need help releasing your blockages, please purchase my Forgiveness Heals Guide of Visualization. I talk about this all the time. Um, and as soon as my coaching business is launched, Forgiveness Heals will only be available to clients. It won't be available on my shop. So if you've been thinking about it for like months and months, you need to take that step and purchase it and listen to it. Why? Oh my gosh, read these little um, reviews on the screen right now. Check out these reviews on the screen right now. Pretty impressive, huh? Had such a good response from you guys who have listened to it. I feel like every single person that listened to it bawled their eyes out. They're like, Mel, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm like, it's fine, you just need to heal. I made that meditation when I was manifesting forgiving my dad, and that's why I got teary. And my dad always just hits that little like heart chakra and it's like, Oh, and then I think about what kind of childhood did he have to create an adult that he is today? And it's like, when I looked at his childhood, I was like, holy fucking shit, you know? It wasn't good, but he did the best he could. And now he's taught me so much about the power of unconditional love. If I say, I will only love you when you are good and you do this and that, that's conditional. And he has taught me so much about unconditional love and the power in allowing somebody else to have their own path and not judging them for what they're doing. You know, it's like when you, when you start taking on the weight of everyone else's problems, you have enough shit to deal with, honestly. And yeah, I'm just really, this is, this is the best time to heal is at the time of the full moon. And if you are ready to heal and you are willing to heal and you want to feel that pain lift, then this is the perfect time to start. And if you already have forgiveness heals, which a lot of you do, and I'm so grateful and I'm so proud of you that you guys got to the stage where you're like, I wanna change, I'm willing to heal, I want to release this pain. Or you say, I am learning to release the pain. Just depends on where exactly are you. Just choose the words that feel best. And I highly recommend that you could do this out in mother nature. For those of you that have been healing like every full moon that I have been telling you to, I feel like this won't be as emotional as the previous ones were. Just depends where you're at. All right, let's get one last card for clarity for the new moon, the full moon. And then that'll be it. What else did my MK love need to know for the full moon in Pisces? If you're a Pisces, can you write, I'm a Pisces in the comment right now while I shuffle? I'm so interested to see what you guys are. A lot of Pisces are usually like healers or astrologers or psychologists. Oh. One last card, please. Okay. Can I have one last, one card for the summary of the week then? What do we need to know to summarize the whole week? Thanks. Oh, you want me to give me two? Okay. Ah, this came out when I was shuffling before. The six of wands this is a celebration. Ah, that's amazing. It's like you reached the top. Ah, I couldn't work out that song then. This is just a celebration. This is like you have worked hard, you're proud of your accomplishments. You're so proud of yourself for even getting to the stage to be like, you know what, Mel? In the new moon, I watched your live, I set my intentions. I said, I feel, insert emotion, as I am manifesting, insert desire. And you're like, you know what? On the, the crescent moon, I planned out exactly how that was gonna look. And you know what? In the action phase, I took inspired action and now I'm trusting and now I'm releasing and I'm so proud of where I am. That's where you're at now. That's the summary for the week. You should be proud of where you are. Think about where were you last year, this time last year. Completely different, huh? 
And then we had the Knight of Pentacles. Wow, that's abundance flying into your bank account. <laughs> and I can tell you, I have definitely experienced that. Holy shit, you guys have booked me out for the next two weeks. I'm like, this is incredible. I don't know, it was just a shift, a karma shift as we went into this new moon energies. I felt something massively shifted and the abundance is coming your way. You have to trust that it's coming. You have to release those limiting beliefs. You need to really take time to reprogram your subconscious. You really need to take time to do that because imagine how fabulous your life would be, even you know, how, how more fabulous your life would be knowing that you could create your own destiny. Release, set your intention, work hard, release those blockages and know that it is coming for you because it is. I'm living proof that it is possible, guys. I literally learned to break the cycle of abuse in my family. I'm about to marry the man of my dreams. A wedding date I thought was one date, but now I feel like it's another date now. And I'm like surrendering to the process. And I'm like, oh my God, Peter's gonna be my husband one day. He's gonna be the father of my kids. And I worked freaking hard to get to him. And like someone said to me the other day, you're so lucky. I was like, this was not luck. That was freaking hard work. You know, I did the work. I put in the work, I manifested him. And I also, a quick little tip. When I released a blockage, a big blockage, if you saw me blubbering my last video, um, on the full moon, holy heck, I lost weight. I noticed that energetic shifts when you release it, release weight from you because I honestly, I haven't been to yoga in three weeks and I haven't done anything different to what I usually, or actually I have been making slice at home. Oh my God, I make this beautiful peanut butter slice. Four ingredients, so good. And um, yeah, and I released that big energetic blockage and I felt like I just, like my face just looks different. Anyways. That's amazing, that's another side effect. You can lose weight. Your body can restore itself to its natural state of, um, of a healthy body weight as you release these blockages. Cause it's like, okay, if you have a lot of extra weight on your hips, that's emotional blockages from your dad. Do I have extra weight on my hips? Yes, it's from my dad. And I send my hips so much love. I'm like, you know, I love you, I love you, I love you. And yeah, anyways, I think that's about it. What card stood out for you today? Okay, was it the, do you want me to do a quick recap for you? Let's do a quick recap. I'll just read them out because I've already said what they are. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords. Yes, was it the Ace of Swords? The Justice card. The High Priestess. The Hermit card. The Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Six of Wands, or the Knight of Pentacles. What card stood out for you the most? Comment it down below. And for all you beautiful souls that love giving me massive novels, you're welcome to do that as well. I love reading them. So yeah. There's a lot going on. This is just a beautiful energy. I just feel so much better. Like, do you guys feel it too? Um, yeah. So yeah, lots of, go lots of stuff going on. Please make sure you follow me over on Instagram. That's where I do a lot of my polls and I communicate with you guys a lot over there. Um, and I also do Q and A tea time every single Tuesday. So if you have lots of questions, instead of private messaging me, because I'm getting to the stage now, which I'm so grateful, I'm getting so many messages that I'm finding it hard to respond to all of you guys. So please, if you have lots of questions, please wait for Q and A tea time and I'll answer them for you on my Instagram stories. Or if you can't wait and it's very pressing, then please book in for um, a private reading because I would love to help you out. Yay! So yeah, comment down below the fa your favorite card. If you wanna give me a summary or whatever, hit the heart chakra, that would be amazing. And as always, I'll be responding to you for the very first hour that this video is live and then I'll need to start my day. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you, I love you, I love you and I'll talk to you on Thursday. Goodbye.